Welcome to GDs, and this is, Snowfall, Season 1. Season starts, in 1983 Los Angeles. We get our first look at Franklin Saint, as he hangs out with his friends, Leon and Kevin. Franklin, went to a good school, but decided not to go to college, and came back to be with his mother Sissy. Sissy, raised Franklin alone, and she works hard to keep him straight. But Franklin, has been selling weed, for his uncle Jerome. Despite knowing, that her mother won't approve of this. Franklin, in order to sell weed, goes to one of his high school friends Rob. Being in the valley, Leon, was quite amazed by the circle Franklin had during high school. Rob, wants Franklin, to come with him to his father's cocaine supplier, as he wants to buy from him, but he is afraid of going to him. Franklin, agrees to do so, and Rob, drives him to Avi, an Israeli drug lord. But Avi, lets Franklin know, that he doesn't sell in retail. Franklin, seeing an opportunity, asks him, to front him the product, and assures him, that he will turn it around quickly. Avi, being impressed by Franklin, gives him a brick, and lets him know, that he has 24 hours to come back with the money. Franklin, having the product, goes to his uncle Jerome. He asks him, to help him out, in order to sell the same. But Jerome, doesn't want to be involved in coke, and sends him away. His aunt Louie, overheard their conversation. She offers to help him out, and takes him to Claudia, the owner of a local nightclub. We also get to know, that Louie used to be in a relationship with her, and they had a bad falling out. But with the product, which Franklin got being pure, she buys from him. As they return, we also get to see Franklin's dad, and we find out that he is homeless. On the other hand, we get to see Alejandro, who was partying with Logan, a CIA operative. Logan overdoses, and the girls he was with, wanted to call for help, but Alejandro, was not willing to do so. Alejandro, later goes to Teddy, another CIA operative, sent to Los Angeles as punishment. He lets Teddy know, that Logan gave him his contact, and told him, that if he ever needed anything, he can contact him. Teddy, not knowing what to make of it, decides to go with him. He takes him to Logan's body, and tells him, that he overdosed. In addition, he shows him a large shipment of product, which they had, and that is why he never called the authorities. Alejandro, assures him, that there was no one else in the house besides them. Teddy, tells him to take care of the body, while he cleans the scene. As Teddy cleans the place, he finds a pair of earrings, and he realizes, that Alejandro might be lying to him. He later meets with Alejandro, and learns, that Logan was helping them with weapons, to fight the war in the south. And Alejandro, has been flying the products, in and out of Nicaragua. Teddy, reaches out to his superior James, and lets him know the situation. Teddy, knowing that this might be his only shot to get back in the game, assures James, that he is willing to take over for Logan, and he will be able to run the operation smoothly, without getting the agency's handprints on them. James, knowing the operation to be important for them, gives Teddy a go-ahead. Teddy, lets Alejandro know, that he will be stepping in for Logan, but would like to do things his way. Thus, he wants them to find a new place. In addition, he lets Alejandro know, that he would like to meet the buyers himself. We also get to see a wrestler Gustavo. And he is being asked to rob a place, by Lucia and Pedro. They let him know, that it will be easy, as he will just have to walk in, get the money and walk out. In addition, we also learn, that Franklin, is a fan of Gustavo. Gustavo, was a bit apprehensive at first, but he finally goes in to rob the place. He was able to get in, and he takes the money from the hidden safe. But before he could walk out, he is attacked. Gustavo, is able to fight off the attacker, and in the process, the attacker falls and dies. Before Gustavo leaves the place, he was able to figure out, that the one he robbed, was indeed the father of Pedro. Gustavo, thinking he might have been set up, refuses to give the money to Pedro and Lucia, and lets them know, that he doesn't trust them, and will hand over the money, only when he will feel safe. Pedro, is quite annoyed with him, but Lucia is able to calm him down. Lucia, tells Gustavo, that they were hoping to get the cash as a loan, and had planned to keep it back, as they were going to start their own distribution. Thus, they required cash, to buy the product. She was able to convince Gustavo, to give her the cash. While Teddy, goes with Alejandro to meet their first buyer, Avi. Teddy, introduces himself as Reed Thompson, an alias that he builds for this operation. But Avi, was not sure of him, and thinks, that he might be wearing a wire. He threatens him, and asks him to strip. Avi, still not sure about him, 
sends him away, without closing the deal. Later, Lucia along with Gustavo, meet with Teddy, and they are their second buyers. With them, things go smoothly, and they are able to close the deal. Teddy, knowing how important it was for them, to be in business with Avi, goes back to him. He is able to make Avi trust him, and they are finally able to get on the same page, and close the deal. With all the product being sold, Teddy, now has the money to pay for supplies, that are needed to be sent to support the war in Nicaragua. But the weapons he got had serial numbers, which could be traced. He lets Alejandro know, that he is not sending the weapons, till they scratch the serial number on them. Alejandro, is against the idea, as this will delay the shipment, and his people require supplies urgently. But having no choice they get to work. Teddy, leaves after getting a call, and we learn, that it was a call from Julia, his ex-wife. She came to see him in Los Angeles, as she was ready for them to be back together. We also get to know, that they were stationed together in Tehran. It is where Julia got pregnant with their son. Julia, lets Teddy know, that he is getting involved in a dangerous assignment, and it will affect him mentally as well. Teddy assures her, that he wants to be with her, and will come back to DC, once he has finished setting up everything. Julia, is not sure about him, as he has broken her trust previously. But she is willing to give him a chance, and she lets him know the same, before leaving for DC. On the other hand, Franklin, having sold a brick, buys a bike, and goes back to Avi. At Avi's, he helps him out, by saving one of his men, as he drops him off at the hospital. Avi, even more impressed by him, hands him over two bricks this time. We also get to see Melody, she is Franklin's neighbor, while her father Andre, is a cop. Melody and Franklin, are fond of each other. But Andre, doesn't like Melody, hanging with Franklin. We also see Franklin, accompanying her mother, as she tries to evict people for not paying their rent. We also get to see Sissy, being harassed by her boss. Franklin, later goes to Claudia, to sell her the two bricks which he got. As Franklin gets out from the club, he is jumped. He is not only beaten, but the money is also taken from him. He learns from Claudia, that those who attacked him, were Lenny and Ray Ray, and they went after him, as he poached their customer. Franklin goes to Leon and tells him everything. Leon, being imprisoned before, had some contacts. He goes to them, and Carvel, agrees to help them out. Carvel, takes Leon and Franklin to Lenny's house. And he is able to make Lenny, give up what he stole. But after finding all the cash, he decides to keep it for himself. Franklin, knowing he needs to get the money back, asks Jerome for his gun. Jerome, tells him, that if he is taking it, he needs to be sure, that he can pull the trigger. Leon and Franklin, go to Carvel's place, but he already spent the money on a car. They were able to grab Carvel, as he was knocked out on drugs. They take Carvel, along with his car, as payment to Avi. Avi tells them, that it's their mess to clean up, and he gives them a shovel. As they were taking Carvel, he wakes up, and was able to get out of the car. Being in the middle of nowhere, Leon and Franklin chased him. Knowing, that he will come after them, Franklin decides to shoot him, but he is not able to do so. And Leon, takes the gun, and does what was needed. Later, Franklin sells the car, as well as the bike he bought, and pays off Avi. Franklin, going through so much, lets Avi know, that he is done. On the other hand, Lucia, getting the drugs, starts packaging them, for distribution. It is when they get a call to come back home. Lucia, leaves Gustavo in charge, to watch the packaging, as they leave for the house. At the house, Ramiro, Pedro's father, was looking for the person who betrayed him. He lets everyone know, that only a handful of people knew, where he kept the money. And he knows, that someone close to him, betrayed him. He lets his crew know, that he will find the one responsible, and they will pay for what they did. We also get to see Lucia's father, and we learn, that they use routes developed by them, to get the products from Mexico. He lets his daughter know, that Ramiro, will eventually find the one who betrayed him. Pedro and Lucia, both being concerned about this, come up with a plan. They decide to kill one of his father's men, on whom they could put the blame, and make it look like he disappeared after stealing the money. They ask Gustavo to do what was needed. But he insists, that they come with him. They are able to kill one of Ramiro's men. Thereby, they make Ramiro believe, that he was the one who stole the money, and now, they are in the clear. But the product they purchased, is selling slowly, and they need money to buy the next shipment, as per the terms of the deal. Gustavo, proposes to Lucia, that he can help them to sell more products, but it will mean, 
that they will have to work with Stomper, one of the Mexican gangs. He tells Lucia, that if he is able to pull this off, he wants to be partners with them, and Lucia agrees. Meanwhile, Teddy goes to meet the people he is getting the supplies for. It is there he learns, that their leader, is Alejandra's wife. In addition, Teddy was also able to find a spy in their camp, a young boy. Teddy informs them about him, and they take care of him. As Teddy returns back, their plane needed to make an emergency landing, in which Alejandro is knocked out. Teddy, being stuck in the middle of nowhere, almost gave up hope. But Alejandro woke up, and they were able to fly back. Being back, Teddy goes to DC. He asks James, to help him streamline the purchase of weapons, as the depot, was giving him a hard time. James, lets him know, that he will get it done, while Teddy assures him, that once it's done, the soldiers will have everything that they will need, to win the war. He also catches up with Julia, and assures her, that he is about to be ready to set everything up, and once he is done, he would like to come back, to be with her in DC. Julia agrees, but tells him, that this will be his last chance. As Teddy returns to Los Angeles, he finds a flyer, of a missing person on a pole. Alejandro, lets him know, that this was the girl he had to take care of, the night Logan died, and he never told him this before, as he didn't knew him. While Franklin, feeling low, goes to see his father, and he learns, that he was in jail. So he bails him out, but they have an estranged relationship, thus Franklin, didn't wait to talk with him. Later, he visits Franklin at Jerome's house, and gets cleaned up. We learn, that his father, Alton, used to be in Black Panthers, before it was destroyed, and later he became an alcoholic, and that's why Sissy threw him out. Although he tries to talk with Franklin, but tempers flare up. Later, they are visited by the cops, for noise complaints. As Franklin tries to stand up, they beat him down. Andre, arrives just in time, to defuse the situation. Franklin, going through the ordeal, decides to go back to Avi. They also let Kevin know, about their new connection, and the product. Avi, gives them four bricks this time, but Claudia, only took two off Franklin's hands. Not knowing where to sell the product, Franklin goes to Jerome, wanting to know, why he doesn't want to be involved in the coke business. Jerome, tells him, that it is an expensive product, and their people cannot afford it. So in order to sell it, they will have to go to the whites, and they will stick out among them. In addition, Mexicans are an organized gang, in that business, and the hassle, isn't worth it. He also introduces him, to one of his friends, and he tells him the same thing. But Franklin, wants to try to sell the product anyway, so he gets the location of the Mexicans from him, hoping, that he will be able to convince them to buy. While Gustavo, connects with Hernan, his wheelchair confined brother, and asks him, to help them sit down with the Mexicans. Hernan, is able to get them a sit down with Stomper, and they are able to finalize a deal. As Gustavo was coming out, Franklin, also reached there, but him being black, was immediately grabbed by Stomper's crew. Gustavo, knowing Franklin to be a fan, was able to save him. And Franklin, lets him know, that he will owe him. Franklin returns home, and having no options, he decides to go to meet one of Kevin's contact, in Oakland. As they reached Oakland, Kevin's contact was not available, and they needed to wait. Franklin, strolled out, and he sees a new kind of drug, being enjoyed by the addicts. Wanting to know more about it, he buys all the products from the dealer, just to meet with the person who created the drug. Franklin, meeting him, asks him, to teach him the process of cooking the rock, and he tells him, that he is an artist, and if he will teach him, he will start spreading his art away from here. Franklin, learns the process to cook the rock, which not only makes it more addictive, but also reduces the cost, and gives them higher margins. While Kevin, not being able to find the contact, returns with Leon and Franklin. But Franklin, having learned a new way to cook the product, was not disappointed. He makes the rock, and asks Leon and Kevin to give it out to people as free samples. While Lenny and Ray Ray, were also keeping an eye on Franklin's house, as Lenny wanted revenge. Franklin, goes to his uncle, with the new product, and lets him know, that with this product, they can bring down the selling price, thus, they can sell to their own people, and he won't have to worry about Mexicans or the whites. Knowing this, Jerome, was ready to help him out, in order to see the potential of the product. Franklin's strategy, of providing free samples worked, as the next day, they had buyers lined up. While Leon, being at Franklin's house, was attacked, and is shot by Lenny. Franklin, 
reaches there in time, and is able to get him to a hospital. He also had to hide the product in Melody's room, in order to be safe. Sissy, getting to know about Leon, gets worried about Franklin. But Franklin, is able to calm her down. We also learn, that she lost her job, as her boss fired her. Franklin offers her money, but she refuses to take it. As Leon recovers, Franklin, lets him know, that they will take care of Lenny. He also catches up with Melody, but Melody, finding out that he hid the product in her room, asks him to leave. On the other hand, Gustavo and Lucia, getting back after making a deal, are quite happy, and they get intimate. Pedro, seeing this, and later learning that Lucia made Gustavo a business partner, is not happy with her. As he never liked Gustavo. Pedro, feeling alienated from Lucia, tells his father everything. Ramiro, is impressed with what she was able to accomplish, and lets her know, that he will be joining them as their new partner. Lucia, informs Gustavo the same, and asks him to get away. As his uncle is taking control of the business, and since he killed two of his uncle's men, he won't let that go. In addition, they will also not be supplying to Stomper anymore. Gustavo, lets her know that he won't be running. He also makes her realize, that she is being pushed out of the business, that she created. Lucia, gets the news of her father passing away. As she visits him, we also get to meet her mother, and we learn, that she takes care of the farms in Mexico. Lucia, is also asked by her uncle, to show one of his men, how she is maintaining the books. Learning this, Lucia knows, that she is being pushed out of the business. Thus she agrees with Gustavo's plan. And they go to meet with Stomper. While Teddy, tries to find out, who has been looking for the missing girl. He later befriends her, by making her believe, that he is also looking for a missing girl. Victoria, seeing him, tells him, that her sister also went missing the same night, and as they were talking, a man visits them, responding to her flyers. He informs them, that he saw the girls, partying at a club. As Teddy returns, he learns from Alejandro, that their camp, in Nicaragua, was attacked and he needs to head down there to know more. Teddy, asks him about the club, and he gets to know, that they picked the girls from that club. Teddy, assures him, that he will take care of the problem here, and he needs to fly out alone. Teddy, goes to the club with Victoria. Being at the club, Victoria is able to find the description of the man, with whom her sister left. In addition, she also gets the address, of where they might have gone. Teddy, knowing that this was the place, where they took the girls, was able to delay Victoria for a while, so that he can get someone placed at the house. As Victoria, reaches the address, Teddy's associate was able to make Victoria believe, that her sister was never there. Victoria, tired of looking for her sister, thanks Teddy for his help, and lets him know, that she is planning to leave, as she has come to terms, that she might never find her sister. Alejandro, also returns back, and tells him, that they have lost their camp, and were only able to salvage a small amount of product. But now, they will have to look for new suppliers. Alejandro, lets Teddy know, that he knows some suppliers from Colombia, but, he will be meeting them alone, as they will only trust him. Teddy allows him to go alone, but he kept an eye on him, in order to know his Colombian contacts. Later, Teddy learns from Victoria, that before leaving, she wanted to give it one more shot of finding her sister, and she might have found the man who is responsible for her sister's disappearance. Teddy, joins her, as she goes to a photographer, who was present in the club, the night her sister went missing, and in his photos, he was able to capture the man, with whom his sister left. And it is Alejandro. Teddy, wants Alejandro to leave the city for a few months, so that he can take care of the situation. While Alejandro, wants to get rid of Victoria, as he has a meeting with the Colombians, and if he doesn't show up, the deal will be gone. But Teddy tells him, that they will figure out something, but for now, he needs to leave. Alejandro, despite being asked by Teddy to leave, goes to Victoria's house, and kills her. Teddy, on seeing this, is quite upset, and he ends up killing Alejandro. Teddy, loses it for a few days. Julia, not being able to contact him, got worried, and James, came to check on him. James, lets him know, that his vision worked, and they are gaining an upper hand in the war, all thanks to him. He also lets him know, that the president is also very happy with his efforts. But if he feels, that he cannot continue, they will have to find someone to replace him. Teddy, being appreciated, feels quite nice, and assures James, that he need not worry. Teddy, later goes to the Colombians, and is able to finalize a deal with them, letting them know, 
that he is from the government. While Jerome, seeing the profits from selling the rock, is happy to partner up with Franklin. Franklin, tells him, that since he has done the heavy lifting, he will give him 25% share. In addition, they also get a new house, in order to cook the product. Franklin, goes to meet with Avi, along with his uncle and Kevin, in order to get more products, but as Jerome tries to negotiate the price, Avi, is not happy with it. Jerome, tells Franklin, that they should keep an eye on Avi, so that they could find a supplier. And he tasks Rob, to do the needful. Franklin, also goes to Claudia, and asks her, to set up a meeting between him and Ray Ray. Claudia, agrees to do so, provided, he convinces his aunt, to see her. Louis, agrees to her request, but she wants Franklin, to assure her, that in the future, he is going to get her the club. Franklin, meets with Ray Ray, and is able to negotiate a deal with him. While Louis, goes to see Claudia. Ray Ray, brings Lenny to Franklin. And Franklin, pays Ray Ray, and pushes him to kill Lenny. Meanwhile, Lucia's mother leaves, after her father's funeral. Lucia, also sends Pedro home, and then she calls Gustavo. As the season ends, we see Ramiro and his men, being gunned down by Stomper, as Gustavo joins Lucia at the funeral, and they take over the entire business. Teddy, calling Julia, and letting her know, that things got complicated, and he will have to stay in Los Angeles for now. Sissy, finds herself alone in the house. While Franklin, sets up the cook house, and all of them, enjoy the cash flow, and are happy with what they have started. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, please subscribe.